Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the month of December, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs of Taurus. Um, my name is Amber. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Uh, if you would like to book a personal reading, you can do so on my website. The information is down below in the description box, www.unveiledbyamber.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at unveiledbyamber.com. I am having a Black Friday sale. The discount code for that is down below in the description box. Um, you can also use that code to purchase any merchandise out of my store. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, especially if this resonates with you. I really appreciate the support. Um, turnaround on my readings right now is about seven days. And um, this is going to be a reading that focuses mostly on what's going on in the 12th house, okay? Subconscious things, uh, self-sacrificing energies, illusions, veils, uh, dreams, things of, of that nature, all right? Um, Taurus, I'll be honest with you, the money looks good, okay? <laughs> The money looks just fine. Where I started to get like some combative energy, a bit of like a struggle or some sort of quarrel or competition, it was more so in your love life. All right, so we'll see what's going on. Um, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, thank you for allowing me to be the vessel to deliver messages to Taurus for their highest good and their highest good only. What is the strongest message in Taurus love life right now? What is the strongest message in Taurus love life in December? Everybody's getting this, okay? Heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Calling in your soulmate is at the bottom of the deck. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Um, tell me what's going on with the people, the person or situations around Taurus. Give your relationship a chance. Okay, work on your partnership. Um, with this heart to heart conversations, I mean, quite, quite clearly, you're going to be communicating with someone which I don't find odd because there was a lot of air energy in your pre shuffle um Aquarius to be specific but I was kind of feeling like that's you taking on that Aquarian energy just being more authentic with the way that you communicate um standing your ground but doing it in a, in a more direct or expressive way Taurus in the month of December I see you being very stoic and unmoved um by emotions that may be something that you need to work on um as you approach and deal with this situation with this honestly discuss your feelings with each other you could be being more or less um unapproachable um and this could be why you're having a bit of a struggle in your relationship right now give your relationship a chance work on your partnership i still do believe that there is like you know something very heavenly bright on the horizon um, but I am getting like a five of swords energy where ego could definitely have been in the way or is getting in the way right now with the person that you are connecting to people that you have, um, in your immediate environment. What's going on in the subconscious mind of Taurus? What's going on in the subconscious mind of Taurus? Starseed, what lights you up is coming out as an issue. Oddly enough, that's what's going on here, okay? There's someone, somebody, some type of union, relationship, circumstance that brings you a lot of joy. Um, but it's also the issue right now. Something tells me that you and this person are not speaking currently or you guys are not seeing each other currently. You guys could be communicating telepathically or in your dream space, but I don't really see any face-to-face um, interactions, I see that that is going to be changing um, as we move deeper into the end of the year. Tell me what's going on with the people, persons, situations around. Okay. Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Okay. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you not to you 
bottom of the deck, you have Council of Light. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, with the Keisha here, honestly, I'm getting that same vibe. It's like, this is you in this current space. La there's like a lack of color, a lack of emotion, that sort of thing. Uh, putting a bit of a wall up, a barrier, being very factual, black and white, very logical. Um, being authentic, yes, but being very like black and white with the way that you're communicating with this person or communicating about this situation. I definitely feel like whatever it is that you really want to say, you've already said it in your dreams. Definitely, you could be dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate. Yeah. Um, this definitely has a lot to do with destiny, north node, karma energy. Um, you may be realizing that someone is pretty much in your karma, you deserve them, they deserve you. That type of vibration. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Um, somebody may end up divulging a deep, deep emotions that they have for you. They may catch you off guard, Taurus. Tell me about this heart to heart conversation for Taurus. So you have Leo here with the lover, okay? This is your energy, okay? Being expressive, um, but like I said, I really feel like you need to be moving into more of a playful, warm, loving type of energy, more like flirtatious. You could have been very standoffish, like not very warm and fuzzy. I'm definitely feeling like there's a lack of like warm and fuzziness, <laughs> with you and I don't know I, I kind of feel like it's a mechanism of defense or protection because of things that have unfolded in your love life in the recent past the other card that you have here about this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is Jupiter in reverse okay um this is about things not expanding not you know moving forward not traveling to another level or ascend ascending now with Jupiter coming out in reverse and originally the star C coming out out as an issue definitely I am feeling like you've identified someone who brings you wholehearted happiness but I just don't think that you're telling them that Taurus vice versa for the cross watcher okay this could be you and you haven't really expressed this to Taurus they have absolutely no idea uh, that you feel this way tell me about star seed mercury yeah communication Okay, it, this is being more so stuck in the mental space. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm feeling barriers, okay? Barriers of communication. Some of you guys could be dating someone who's of a different uh, background. There's definitely kind of like a religious or belief system sort of barrier. It's very overwhelming trying to communicate with this person or this person feels like communicating with you is extremely um, overwhelming. That's a, There's a need for self-awareness in this situation from both you and the partner that you guys are very different and finding some level of like a happy medium for your two worlds to merge. Okay, definitely feel like that's something that will be discussed. Tell me about this ever unfolding rose. 11th house this is my twin flame card will i be damned okay like i told you this is about destiny i definitely feel like this is about someone who you believe that you deserve vice versa but you guys are both very different very unique um in your own ways however there's something about a common goal something about the future a level of hope that you guys both have for this relationship the 11th house is about coming into alignment with that 
And so you could be experiencing some very uncomfortable and vulnerable situations right now with this person or, okay, you could be experiencing also too a lot of vulnerable type of conversations with friends, family members, coworkers, that sort of thing. Right now, I feel like spirit is using people around you in your immediate environment, kids, your kids, if you have children, brothers, sisters, that sort of thing. Um, you know, you could be seeing them in another light. You could be act in interacting with them in ways that you haven't really been required to interact with them in the past. And that's because uh, spirit is using them to break down this barrier that you have, this brick wall that you have built around your heart space. A lot of you guys do need to do some heart chakra healing and balancing. Um, tell me about Acacia. What's the guidance? Aries, okay, coming out as an issue. This is a lack of action. Mm -hmm. Saturn on the bottom of the deck, definitely you could be experiencing like, you know, some level of restraint. Um, some of you guys could have some sort of like military background. I, I, I get a very uh, militant type of energy, which is completely opposite to this soft and subtle energy that you're coming into. There's something very delicate and pure about the person that you're connecting to. That's crazy. I said Aries action. Here's the next card. Um, tell me about giving your relationship a chance. How does Taurus do this? How do they do this? Fifth house, passion, okay? Both ruled by Leo. This is a very fun, flirtatious energy. Um, it is being very uh, grounded in what it is that you want and desire, being very expressive about it. I think that you've been very expressive re like recently and in the dream space in more of a logical um, sense, but you, you've yet to really um, show this person, you know, like the passion that you have for them. Something about like a lack of performance. And this is something that I think this person is maybe asking you to change or asking you for. Um, this person could have a sense of humor. And um, I'm kind of feeling like, I mean, I mean it in the most, you know, like innocent way possible. But I think that Taurus, you often maybe make this person feel stupid. Like they crack a joke and you're like... <laughs> like that type of thing and like inside you're like cracking up laughing you're having a good time inside but you're not exalting um you're not expressing any of this to them it's almost as if you're in a relationship by yourself and this person is just an object be careful okay tell me one more thing about giving your relationship a chance for Taurus. tell me one more thing about Well, that's Libra hitting the floor, okay? With this world's the seventh house, this is about relationships. Libra does rule uh, the house of partnerships. It rules the house of, uh, you know, the, the energy of harmony, harmony and balance. Um, things being very fair. Um, I don't think that you've been in a space <laughs> of wanting to be fair, trying to be fair, that type of thing. It's something that your partner is really seeking and looking for at this point. Um, I, I think that you may have even in the recent past, Taurus, and I'm sorry if I'm coming off like bashing. I'm not trying to bash you, Taurus. I'm just telling you what I see. I think that you've been a really hard person to please lately. Uh, this person just really does not know how to like flatter you. Whatever it is that they've been doing is not working and it's time for you to really speak up and be direct about that and let them know like, you know, I really don't get a kick out of your dry humor, you know, like, or I don't really find your jokes all that funny, but I really like it when you do this, you know, like that type of thing. Like maybe you have been saying that first part, like I don't find your, your jokes all that funny and the person's like, well, damn. And but you're not communicating what else they could do to get your attention, to get you to laugh, to please you. Definitely something that this person um, has dwelling in their subconscious. Tell me more about this heart to heart conversation for Taurus. <laughs> it's the king of pentacles. 
Very, very stoic. Very serious. What are you focused on? What is Taurus focused on? Okay. The money. The coin. I ain't mad. Like, double confirmation. You really got coin on your mind. Money on your mind. But this person is trying to exchange with you. You're dealing with someone who's extremely, extremely generous. But they don't know how to give to you. That's got to be really challenging for someone who's generous when they, they're at the point where, you know, like they're not even in their comfort zone because they don't know, like that's their love language. There you go. That's why communication is here. You guys have two different love languages. <laughs> and um, it's time for you guys to sit and really have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about what each other's love language is. Like, I kind of get an energy, too, where one of you guys is really, like, touchy, flirty, you know, um, like, wants to hold hands, wants to hug and cuddle and that type of thing. And one of you is just not like that. <laughs> But you love this person. You do. You feel very lucky to have them. You know, they do bring a lot of light and happiness into your life, but you're not showing it. What's the Ace of Pentacles? For some of you guys, Taurus, you've you've been experiencing uh, like you've been experiencing a lot of obligations, stress, pressure, tensions, and things like that in your work life. The money is looking good, but how you're keeping this cash flow, how you're keeping this success flowing into you. Um, I don't think that you're sharing with your partner, and it's a part of you. Um, that I think if you share it, it'll give them more insight into what your love language is with the emperor here, knight of swords, you know, four of pentacles. This is definitely about you holding back. Okay. Um, it's an energy, you know, of taking, it's like being, it's, it is in, yeah, you have the eight of pentacles on the top. This is definitely about work, about money. And it's the reason why you haven't been able to really put the time in or, you know, give the effort to this situation with this person. They could be a mutable sign. It could be a Sagittarius. There is a lot of Sagittarian energy here. I'll be honest. There's a lot of fire energy here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Tell me how the other person would view this Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles energy. Hmm. So that was the devil that hit the floor. This person thinks that you are addicted to your work, addicted to worldly things. Let me ask again, though. Tell me how the other person will view the Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles, okay. Uh, it's, it's the minor arcana to justice, number one. This is your energy, Taurus energy. I mean, like... They believe that you are a very strong leader, okay? Very smart in your business practices. Um, when it comes to, like, leadership, stability, you know, being trustworthy, they definitely do trust you. Um, but I think that, you know, they do feel a bit neglected as well. Because you have the Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. This is, it, it should be a Seven of Pentacles energy where, you know, we're talking about what time is invested, where, so you know, like you're sowing your seeds. But they are feeling like all of your energy is is more so going to uh, business, going to uh, work practices, that type of thing. Uh, tell me, what what is uh, Taurus focused on? What are they giving all of their energy to? Yeah, the chariot. You're trying to get something off the ground. You're trying to get something moving. For some of you guys, it is quite literally that. You want to move. You want to buy a new house. 
Um, you maybe want to change states or locations. You want to go on some type of vacation or travel. This may be a gift, actually, that you're trying to give to this person. You may be trying to buy your partner a house or a car or something like that. And Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, Taurus, I get it. <laughs> like there's you're being kind of secretive about this. This is kind of like a poker face type of ordeal like there's something very nice that you want to give to them there's something very nice that you want to invest or work on um but right now you're in between you know like having all of the tools that you need to manifest this you're definitely working towards the Ten of Pentacles, a family vibration, you know, th th with the chariot being here with this, you know, um, being the center, you want to take things to another level. And I think that you're going to end up having a conversation with your partner or your person of interest this month about that. But Jupiter still being here, I mean, in reverse, it's it's you're going to be breaking it to them that it's not time. Um, but I think you need to be a little bit more foretelling. That's probably why the uh, Knight of Swords was here. You need to be a little bit more foretelling about what it is that you're doing. Uh, because this person very much so, they're, they're feeling left in the dark. What's crowning this energy spirit with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation? <laughs> That's not even funny. It's the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is more Sagittarian energy. And it, this is literally about communication. What's crowning this? There has not been a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. That's, that's the problem. What lights you up? And you have Mercury here. Yeah, you need to talk about this. Uh, you may have been very bossy lately. Um, and, and like, they like this about you. They like, they love your assertiveness, but there is a lack of tenderness. Tell me about Mercury. Like, God, oh, dog, of course. Six of Wands. You're going to be very successful in this is should you communicate. Groups might right now be an issue. You may not have had uh, the privacy that you needed. For some of you too, I'm kind of feeling like there is like if you live in a house with this person that you love, I'm kind of feeling an energy of like people coming to visit you guys, not really having like any type of privacy. One of your family members could have fell in like, you know, down on their luck. And so they're, you know, renting your spare bedroom or something like that. And there's there's something about the loss of private privacy and closeness um, in this relationship that you're in currently. Now, that's just that's for some of you guys. Um, for others of you who are not actually living with this person, this significant other um it definitely is like groups um you know like family gatherings demands like that type of thing that has gotten in the way of this passion it's created like a lot of arguments and that type of thing i just i keep seeing you guys being in two different places it's like you're in the same book you're in the same chapter but in in, in two different places it's because of a lack of communication, a lack of closeness. Tell me about this, Spirit. Yeah. Four of Cups, definitely a sense of satisfaction. Everybody's asking for your love, your time. Definitely a, a heavy demand from different people, different things, certain projects, you know, um, to... How would this other person view the Four of Cups? Yeah, Four of Wands. Four of Cups, Four of Wands. This is Cancerian energy. This is Aries energy. But both of these are a home vibration, a family vibration. Tell me one more thing about how does Taurus view this Four of Cups spirit? How does Taurus view this? The hangman. Yeah, you're stuck right now. There's something that you have to do. You don't really have your, you don't have a choice in the matter. 
But what you do have control over is how you communicate about this situation. Like, you know, giving your partner a fair expectation of when things are going to change, how you're trying to change things, what they can do to help while things remain the same. Like, there's you got to talk. There's there's a need to talk about it. Um, tell me why Aries is here with the Akashic record. Tell me, tell me why this is here. The devil is back out here. Temperance in the devil. Yeah, there's a need to share your thoughts about something that you are bound by right now. What's the devil? The king of wands. For some of you guys, Taurus, this is like merely about appearances. You have to make appearances. You have to keep showing up for somebody. If there's a few of you, you know, who have children, like the holidays have been very hard, um, you know, between like going to your kids like piano recitals and family like you know, luncheons or, you know, like that type of thing, needing to go and do shopping for the kids, you know, your mother's coming into town, like this sort of thing. And in the meantime, your partner's just, they're feeling very neglected. They feel like they're the only person that's putting any type of effort or love into this arrangement, this friendship, this agreement. They're very much so feeling like you've been a little selfish lately. Sorry, that's what the cards say. Um, tell me about giving your relationship a chance for Taurus. The Emperor, again, this is a need for you to step into, you know, some authoritative power and take control over the direction that, uh, this relationship is going right now. Tell me the energy of the Emperor. This is also a number four. Uh, the lovers is here. Choose very wisely. Now you have the devil here and the lovers. Who had that? I think it was Aquarius. They could have Aquarius in their chart somewhere. Yeah, you're definitely needed to take some type of authority over this relationship because like when i'm looking at the lovers here the masculine energy is kind of like hey you know like i don't want you to feel backed in that corner like come on co come over here you know what i mean in the meantime he does have a lot of passions that he needs to tend to but this is a very abundant person a uh, very generous person that you're dealing with i also feel too if you talk to them more about what you're struggling with the challenges that you're having they may have some bright idea about how you guys can, you know, bring things into balance. Tell me more about this situation. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands. Discuss your ambitions, okay? Tell me one more thing about the Knight of Wands. Where's the Knight of Wands headed? Hmm. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles, okay? That's literally what's going on over here, okay? You got the King of Pentacles, right, with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like you have to take some level of leadership over these two projects, you know, responsibilities, uh, different type of scheduling, obligations, that type of thing. But with the Knight of Wands heading towards this Two of Pentacles energy, you know, it, it's kind of like it's it's whatever's going on is very much so out of your hands that needs to be discussed with your partner. Um, this person could have Venus, Saturn, and Aquarius, they could have Aquarius in their second house. You could have Aquarius in your second house. Um, but there is definitely a lot of restrictions on the communication. I just cannot say that enough. Why is it two of pentacles here? Mm -hmm. Look at you guys working together with the six of cups. Okay, you're trying to take on too much, Taurus, and I don't think that you have ever maybe you maybe have never had a person like this in your life that is supportive. Yeah, with the King of Cups here, it's like there is some level of like happiness, contentment, you know, that's being offered. This person like would rush in to help you balance out some of this stuff. You got to, you know, talk to them about it. 
Aries emperor energy here it is very much so a boss energy so it's you know like taurus king of pentacles it's a, it's boss energy king of wands it's a boss energy um and i don't really think that you've ever you know been in a relationship where you felt like you could delegate some of your financial uh responsibilities and obligations this person is ready to help just so that you know <laughs> You know, with the 11th house being here, this is definitely about a group effort. This person wants to co-create with you. Wow. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and what did I say? There goes the Seven of Pentacles. I told you this Six of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles over here is supposed to be like a Seven of Pentacles type of vibration. But um, in its current state, this is you giving here, giving there, basically spreading yourself thin. When, it, when you know, you uh, this person is willing to offer you um, the assistance, the love, the support that you need to go ahead and reap the harvest. Mm -hmm. This is really, really beautiful. Wow. Will of Fortune and the Magician. You don't even know. Oh, my God. And the sun. And the star. Oh. I know, Taurus, you're probably like, oh, my gosh, she is crazy as hell. No, you crazy as hell because this the one. <laughs> Baby is the one, okay? Like, this is someone who probably looks really good naked. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> they look really, really good naked. Um... You know, you may have just had some of you guys, you may have just had a child with this person. And that could be a part of like the obligation, like just wanting to give so much, wanting to buy a new car, wanting to get a new house, like that sort of thing. But it's that macho, like machizo type of attitude. Um, and this person wants to have like a partnership with you, but you don't really see that as an option, you know? Um, but with the will of fortune and the magician, the magician here, I think that you've been manifesting for a, a, like some level of stress to be lifted off of your shoulders and everything keeps leading back to this person. Okay. With the sun here and the star, it's like, this is your energy. The sun, you are a star. You are very much so seen. You're in the public eye. Definitely feel like you could have some type, some type of job where like you work in the government, you, you know, shake a lot of hands, deal with a lot of people, deal with lots of money. Um, some of you guys could work in like the banking industry, financing, you could even sell cars, you could sell houses. I do feel an energy of like a realtor. Um, I kind of feel an energy even of a truck driver for some of you guys. That could be why there's not a lot of time spent. Uh, but with the star here, this person is just as much a star as you, but in its de most delicate form. The same, but opposite. Definitely a twin flame energy. Let me see something. What's the will of fortune? Tell me one more thing about what the will of fortune is. Mm -hmm. I think I said that in the beginning, there was like a five of swords energy. Here it is. Five of cups, five of swords. This person is so delicate, like, and I really feel like this person has offered in the past, you know, to give you some sort of assistance, like over and over again, I'm seeing this cup being offered. I'm seeing this pentacle being offered. And I just keep seeing you in this stoic nature, like, nah, you know, um, but this person with the six of cups here is very much so worthy to be at your side. Yeah. Eight of pentacles, two of cups here. This, this is your partner. There go. Oh my fucking God. Like here is quite literally the king and the queen of cups, the king and the queen of wands. You may not be married to this person, but this may be what you're working towards. Or vice versa. This person is trying to step up to show you that they could be your spouse. Give it a chance. What's the outcome of this situation for Taurus? Two of Pentacles. Again, making a decision. You're going to make a decision. Tell me one more thing about this. Why is that here in reverse? Oh. Mm. 
Is this about more than one person, Taurus? Yeah, I do believe that it is for some of you guys. Okay, that may be an entirely different group, but with the magician here with the Wheel of Fortune, there's something changing about your status. Six of Pentacles, you could be giving to two different situations. Like, I, I think that's why, like, I was picking up that vibration of children. Maybe you're with someone and they don't have children, but you do. Um, and you are single. You might already actually be single, but just the way that, like, you operate, your finances, your obligations, and, like, that sort of thing makes this person feel like they're being juggled between um, maybe, like, the mother or the father of your children. That needs to change. The chariot being an issue, that's what's keeping this from moving forward with the Ten of Cups. That is what is keeping this from going to like a full-blown, happy, heart, like light-hearted sort of um, energy, okay? The sun is also coming out as an issue. For some of you guys, it could quite literally be your sun. This could be about your sun, Two of Pentacles, too, is about communication. It's about lighthearted communication. It's about fertility um, as well. This particular card is. It's about fertility. Children. Interesting because this sun, now I'm just realizing that the sun card fell on top of the king and the queen of wands. Marriage, commitment, like... A full throttle investment into this person it, it, it's been an issue and I think you know it I think you're preparing to make some sort of investment but you're still having a hard time cutting ties severing ties to other people something's about to come in and change that though it's happening very slow but it, it something's going to change it what's the advice for Taurus Yeah, so you have worked through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. This is a past energy, and I think that you just did, like, work through your fears about this commitment, about severing certain ties, that type of thing. Now you're at a point where you're going to kind of address it and talk about it. The other energy you have here is full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within your reach. This is a seven of wands energy. I think that you're getting to a point where you're about to block someone out block someone something that sort of thing putting up boundaries barriers um around a particular type of situation yep full moon in leo don't let pride get in the way and then you also have north node here like i said there's this is a karmic type of uh energy step out of your comfort zone whatever you're comfortable with the past relationships this shit is nothing like it nothing like it this is going to bring a lot of abundance to you and this person, Taurus. Wow. Wow. Part of me feels like you're afraid of what you manifested. You asked for this person. You asked for a partner like this. And now that they're showing up, it's kind of like, oh my gosh. Like, you're so grateful. You don't know how to be thankful. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm just, I just read the card. Taurus okay <laughs> that's your reading okay I am very curious to hear about how you guys feel about this reading if it resonates with you like comment share and subscribe and um, if you would like to book a personal reading again the information to do so is down below in the description box I will see you guys next year bye